Okay guys, so in this video I'm going to cover props and react and let's see what it is exactly. So and functional components, uh, functional components can accept arguments which are called uh, which is called props. It stands for properties, it is read only and props cannot be modified and uh, props is uh, passed and from parent. So let me show you what it means uh, when I said it is read only, cannot be modified, and passed in from element. So let's jump on the coding part, which I really love. And uh, right now it's just the basic Hello World app I made in a couple of videos. And um, let me just delete everything. And this element here too so everything's empty react um, got render and everything there's nothing so let me create this function and so I'm going to make this uh, app for list of grocery items and it's just going to display name and then its price okay name of the item and its price so function item all right, so this is the syntax for uh, uh, for function, and over here I'm going to pass argument props, right? So in this function, I'm going to return this div, and over here I'm going to say uh, set a class name which is item alright and then I'm going to display name and then props dot name so later on I'm going to show uh, I'm going to uh, declare like I'm going to pass uh, name of the item and price of the item in another function. So in this function, it's just gonna uh, it's just gonna show how it's gonna look like, right? So dollar and then props dot price. All right, there should be a semicolon, and then I got function for the item so now let me create the main function which is pretty much going to be a heart uh, for the app let's call it grocery app All right and then there's is also like basic syntax for the function return and I'm going to use these HTML tags and then I'm going to use this function name over here and then I'm just going to use this uh, element variable whatever you kind of call it props.name so I'm going I'm, I'm accessing it and I'm going to say milk all right and I just have to say price is equal to uh, 4.99 All right, and here item name is uh, tagged price uh, three nine nine. Item name, let's say coffee, and then price is equal to like five ninety nine. All right, so I got this uh, items done. So 
uh, I have initialized it with names and prizes. Now I have to uh, declare an element which I can uh, uh, use it in the render and you know display the whole thing. So I'm going to say constant element and I'm going to uh, initialize it with this grocery app, right? And now I just have to mention or declare it over here. So let me save it. All right, so all the prizes and names are displayed, but I'm not happy how it looks like. And now uh, pretty much I'll just play around, play around how it is going to look like, right? And I just folded the prize and these things and I need a little bit you know how it how it's mixed uh, milk and fries so I'm just creating a breaker here all right let's see perfect okay um, what else I can do I think that's it